Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 2CTV. Uh, we are going to be discussing something extremely boring and concerning that's happening across the Western world. Over the last few hours we've received a lot of footage, images and videos in general from across the Western world, from France to the United States of America. We have uh, Islamists and migrants not only prioritizing their own issues from different countries, but they're also showing disrespect when it comes to the new homes in the Western world. Disrespect to the flags that represents the Western civilizations. The, fr the flag of France, the flag of the US, the flag of the United Kingdom. Let's go on with the show. All right, we have a collection of videos for you guys, which I'm going to go through one by one, starting with this man um, in France. And we're going to discuss the problems because not only we have some videos uh, which is, uh, well, the flags being burned or being brought down or being replaced. We also have a video from America where the so-called Palestinian flag has been repla uh, replacing the uh, US flag. Uh, but also a couple of other very disturbing stuff from the UK. Uh, Islamic migrants uh, in the UK. First things first, let's go to the first video, the French flag being burnt. <laughs> Imagine a new country, a, a more civilized society, giving you a chance, a second chance to make a home because you told them that you had to flee your original home and they are generous enough to give you a house, give you a job, give you money, give you everything and safety and you respond just doing this. This is the problem. Now, by the way, if you're watching live, we're going to do another video after this uh, uh, because uh, the uh, speaking of the migrant problems and everything else, the Rwanda plan has been defeated. We will discuss that uh, properly in full as well. Um, but this continues because it's not just about what's happening in France, but also in America, the so-called land of opportunity, the land of the free. Usually, even in the 20th century, when we had the waves of migration going to America, or Canada actually even, people appreciated it. People tried to integrate, start businesses, a lot of migrants. Not anymore. This is a video from the US, uh, I believe in New York actually, uh, where one of the pro-Palestinians uh, brought down the American flags, replaced them with the Palestinian flags. It's not just that one person has gone rogue doing this. We've got the crowd cheering. So when people are going around and our own MPs in the House of Commons, especially the Labour side, saying, why is it that the people like Maya Tusi keep complaining about division? People like Maya Tusi keep complaining about uh, the masses going around and fighting against the flag, fighting against the British culture, the Western culture in general. It's not just a one-off incident when you have so much evidence. The videos I'm showing you, I've already showed you, are from the last few hours, over the last couple of days. Now, we have more videos, which I will show you guys, which is going around over the last few months, over the last couple of years. This is becoming a trend again. They started by saying, we're just out to support the so-called Palestinian people. Then they said we're fighting against the Israeli government. Then they said we're just fighting against Zionism. And then they're targeting the random Jews on the streets. And now they're going and actually fighting against our own flags and our own institutions and our own culture. What do you expect when you have an idiot as a president 
in the White House, for example, Joe Biden, and also all the other leaders that we have in our countries, if they're not strong enough to stand up to this nonsense, do we have to do it ourselves? Another example. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen evidence of the Algerian migrants and uh, migrants from Morocco. Uh, any of the links, connections to the French or the French colonizers still been obsessed about the past. They're coming out to protest in favor of the Palestinian people, but they make it about themselves. Surprise, surprise. And it's not just the Islamists. It's also the far left. We've seen so many examples over the last few years about this. The next video, again, the recent video, is uh, in America. The American flag being brought down and being replaced by the flag of Philistines. If you really, really care about those places in the Middle East or North Africa, why do you bother coming to the West? If you don't even bother trying to integrate or trying to become American or British or French or whatever, why bother? Is it because it's safer here and you can make more money and then you can also convert the rest of us to Islam? You could have stayed and built your own countries, whether it's Pakistan, Algeria or Lebanon or wherever you are. You could have done that. Why is it that you guys who are only young, healthy, active men who are leaving as refugees? Where are the women? Where are your wives, your sisters, your mothers, your children? Hmm. They're still back home, aren't they? Waiting for the money to be sent to them. And apparently it's controversial to say this. Now, as I said, the problem is not just about the Islamists, because uh, the, the ideology that's against the Western culture is uh, it's a combination of the far left, the revolutionary Marxists uh, who are going under different umbrellas, whether it's the BLM movement, whether it's the Extinction Rebellion, all of them go hand in hand with Islamism. For example, we've seen these videos again from a while ago uh, in London, Senator Whitehall, uh, a couple of years back uh, when the BLM stuff was happening, Extinction Rebellion was happening, uh, this kid who was trying to burn the flag counter protests from groups on the right seeking to, among other things, protect statues like the Cenotaph, uh, where somebody tried to set light to, a, to a, a, a flag there, allegedly, uh, where somebody tried to set light to, a, to a, a, a flag there, allegedly, 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 allegedly. Allegedly. That was the BBC, by the way. BBC News reporting back then the, the, the actual British flag, the Union flag. The video was there, they were showing the video, and BBC was still saying, allegedly. If the media allows them to continue to do this, condone bad behaviour, encourage bad behaviour, we have to defend the country ourselves, we have to defend all our countries ourselves, whether you're watching this from Canada, Australia, or France, or wherever, and then Netherlands, everywhere. This continues, it's not just about the far left, it's not just about Islamism, it's the wider problem. And we are also being betrayed by the liberal globalists who also have no respect. They, they might not go around destroying the flag, but their policy is to undermine the sovereignty and the borders and the flags that we have. So they are also doing it, but in a more softer, quieter way. This is another video from Britain uh, from a while ago. Um, I think it was Rebel News, actually. My good friend Ezra uh, It was interviewing a British uh, migrant, Islamic migrant. They are very honest with you. They are very straightforward. They are telling you the plan. Just watch this. What I'm doing now, and um, what I've been doing for the years, is promoting the Sharia through peaceful means, you know, um, through speaking about Islam, by speaking about the justice of Islam, and also putting down democracy as a hypocrisy. If someone said, Abdul Hakim, I'm going to join ISIS or, or some other terrorist group, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a SUV and I'm going to run it down Westminster Bridge, would you... Would you report them to the police 
Without, no, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. It's not allowed for a Muslim to report on a Muslim. Body. So you wouldn't. It's not allowed in Islam. So that's a no. It's not allowed in Islam. Hmm. At first, he started saying, "I'm simply promoting Sharia in Britain peacefully," and then he took it to the next level. Oh yeah, and we're also fighting against democracy. And then took it to the next level when he was asked whether he would report an extremist to the police. No, we as Muslims are not allowed to report other Muslims. That is the problem with the, the Islamic community. When those who ask, where are the moderate Muslims? Why are they not speaking out against the, the extremists? It's because they're not allowed. The enemy is still here. And those who claim to be moderate Muslims, they have to speak out. Because this is not any attack on individuals, whether you're a Christian or a Muslim or a Jew, whatever you are. But if you're not acting in the interest of the country you live in, if you're betraying the culture, and if you're aiding the enemy, whether it's the communists, Marxists, or Greta Thunberg, or the Islamists, then you are our enemy. If you're just living your life, whatever religion you have, I don't care. Don't care what you're going to do. It's your private house, private life, whatever you do. But again, supporting, defending or hiding the enemy, that should not be allowed, let alone insulting the flag, insulting our values. That video is very telling. Thanks to Ezra for being there. Another video from America. <laughs> Then these are the people who are just out there to defend the so-called Palestinian people. They don't call themselves Islamists or extremists. Some might even call themselves moderate. How do you define moderate? If you're not even allowed, using your ideology, to report a fellow Muslim if, if he's an extremist. If you're allowed to lie to an infidel, someone who's not a Muslim, you're allowed to lie. Is that moderate? Hmm. We'll, we'll see. The next video is fascinating because uh, you must have heard about uh, Queers for Palestine. <laughs> the LGBTQ plus division for Palestine. There's a woman. I think she's a queer, I don't know. Made a video. She was angry and disappointed. Cause she's been going to these uh, anti-Israel protests. And when she has witnessed uh, what the actual Islamists are doing every time they see an LGBTQ ally or a queer, she's disappointed and she's surprised. Watch this hilarious video. <laughs> I am fucking livid right now. At the last rally in Vancouver in the pouring rain, thousands of people were marching for Palestine and a brave queer Palestinian stood up and spoke to the crowd. And as this person was speaking, pouring out their heart, their soul, their pain and their demands, tell me why the fuck I could visibly see Muslims in the crowd becoming uncomfortable and unhappy with the fact that a queer person was speaking. And tell me why the fuck I saw specific aunties going around asking volunteers why this person was speaking and I think asking them to stop them from speaking. Queer Palestinians are being slaughtered at the same rate as the rest of the Palestinians in Gaza. So how dare you make this about one specific group? It's free all of Palestine. <laughs> A queer Palestinian. Oh, <laughs> uh, isn't that an oxymoron? Um, and she's surprised. She's shocked. It's like the. Do you remember a few weeks back when I was in London uh, reporting the protest? There was a couple uh, who confronted me, saying, uh, "Why do you say there's a problem in this protest?" So they said, "Have you seen what happens uh, when one individual brings in the rainbow flag? What they do to the flag?" And they were actually they were genuinely ignorant. They were they were like, "What? No, we haven't seen it. What what happens? Really? We'll find out." Did this person? <laughs> They are shocked, absolutely shocked. I thought queers for Palestine. Oh, oh, Vancouver, you need to sort out your own problems. The, the Canadian government have lost total control. <laughs> it's bad, guys. It's bad. Sarah says, I'm in Canada and it is so sick here. We need to get rid of them. And Justin Castro Trudeau, absolutely agree with Sarah. 
so bad. The whole situation is extremely embarrassing. That is an insult, not to your country, but also to the soldiers who died protecting your country. I agree. And Frankie says, uh, Maya, you forget that these Islamists think that the West belongs to Allah. So it's their duty to convert unbelievers, which is why they ended up in the West. I absolutely agree with that, by the way. Um, it's not a theory. They say it. I don't say it. They say it themselves. <laughs> Lancashire Hot Pot says, absolutely disgusting. Mass deportations needed. Exactly. We need to go with Emmanuel Macron's policy. You go radical. You want to do treason. You can leave. Yeah. I don't care. Even if you're born here. Even if you're blonde. I usually make a joke about the gingers, but no, let's go blonde. Even if you're blonde, born in Yorkshire, not Lancashire, oh, Lancashire, whatever. <laughs> I will deport your hot pot. I'm kidding. Uh, Sarah is back again. I'm, I'm Canadian and immigrants are not trying to fit in at all. Uh, Trudeau has special laws to protect them. Yeah, that's bad, isn't it? And it, it, he just cancelled the meeting with the Italian prime minister because of a pro-Palestine protest today. The guy is such a weak vanilla, it's embarrassing. Mr. Green is back with a super chat, thank you so much, Peter, saying um, the, the woman sent them. Probably they, probably because they don't want them. That is also interesting. Yeah, I mean, um, all the vulnerable asylum seekers who happen to be military-age men, while the women are still at home in their own home countries, instead of sending the women and children first, and the women never come because they just stay there and get the money. That's a problem. The women are probably happy when they when the guys leave. <laughs> Cookie Monster says, uh, "You just loving, you just love stoking hate by it." Well, two C, do I? <laughs> that will be a waste of energy to focus on so much hate. Um, it's absolutely depressing to focus uh, to even report all this nonsense every single day. I'd rather focus on good news, but. Uh, you guys don't really help. Cookie Monster sounds like somebody who's supporting the hateful side, the hate marchers. Um, I'm reporting what they are literally saying. I'm simply showing you the videos of the Islamists and the far left, what they are doing, what they are saying. I'm not saying anything. They are saying it. Cookie Monster. Thank you. Stealth says, we will never surrender. We are Great Britain. Hopefully that's true. Uh, Jason super chat without lies Islam dies uh, uh, thank you very much oh yeah obviously Takia let's not forget about the uh, well the whole guy the guy who was saying um, we're not allowed to report Muslims even if they're extremists to the police the same argument to the fact that you're allowed to lie to non-Muslims infidels Christians anybody really again it's in their text I'm not saying it they are saying it any foreign individual should be deported if they speak out against our country with hate or threat of terror. Exactly. Again, Emmanuel Macron policy. I'm not a defender of Macron, by the way, but his government, because the elections are coming up, they're becoming robust again and they're doing the deportations. Fine. But there's not really a, no credit going to Macron himself. Flat earthers for Palestine. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, forget about the queers. For Palestine, it's all about the <laughs> flat earthers for Palestine. Oh, I, I, I might have insulted the blondes from, from Yorkshire. Lady Yorkshire says, I'm blonde, I'm proud. <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. Uh, I, don't, I, I would not really randomly deport blondes from Yorkshire. <laughs> Unless you do treason, then yes, you will be sent to Rwanda. <laughs> but the, the Rwanda plan has been defeated today, so oops. Uh, I'll, I will do another video talking about that, by the way, in details. I'm just waiting for the, all the information and the statements from both sides. Tanya says, I love how people who haven't read the Bible claim to know who Jesus is. Maybe check the outside historical records too then. Well, these days they claim he was a Muslim, apparently. <laughs> yeah, Jesus was a Muslim before Islam. That is impressive, isn't it? We have an Iranian, obviously anti-Islamic occupation Iranian, saying Islam is dangerous. Uh, and uh, this is also an interesting comment uh, about the situation in the United Kingdom. So uh, politics won't save England now. I mean, this is the only thing we have left for now. Um, the little bit of our democratic platforms. We just need to do massive reforms or what we call British Revolution, British soft revolution. This is the only way you can save the country. Unless, wait, but otherwise, you have basically the British culture who are always ready to talk about rising up. We will rise up. We will go on the street. Never do it. Throughout history, it's just 
it's not really a thing apart from the uh, the peasants revolt and it doesn't really work because the only way we've done things in this country has always been based on evolution rather than revolution but things are changing now so this comment might be true now uh, compared to what this country was about for centuries and centuries the culture is changing unfortunately harmony is going away um that's the problem Frankie says, if we use the far left, far, the left right definition, then Islamists, the Isla Islamists are the far right, and it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so, when it comes to the actual, the, the real definition of far left and far right, the, the far aspects of it is simply about force and authoritarianism, which Islamism is also saying about force and authoritarianism. But it's not just about the far right. Both far right and far left have authoritarianism and force actual far right not nationalism real far right revolutionary by force violence authoritarianism so it's the far part of it far left and far right so islamism is not far right or far left it's just far basically um but in terms of the alliance obviously the alliance is with, between the far left and uh, the, the the marxism and communism all those things there is also an element of the actual far right the real far right also sympathetic, not towards Islamism, but against uh, uh, the Jews. The real far right obviously hate the Jews. We know that. It's always been the case. Uh, whereas the actual nationalists and patriots uh, have been supporters of anybody in the world who fights for life and freedom. Uh, British nationalists, American nationalists um, are defenders of uh, French nationalists or the Israeli nationalists as we call them, Zionists. Um, you know, if, if you believe in nationalism, if you believe in freedom and sovereignty, you have to defend everybody in every country who, who also fights for the same things. Um, <clears throat> Dominion philosophy says, boring atheists here. Crawl back to Hitchens, dears. Heard it, by the way. Uh, dear Hitchens loved war. But he, he was a bit of a neocon, Christopher, obviously. Um, he didn't love it, by the way. <laughs> but he, he did believe in the... Obviously, he died in 2011. He, um, he would have known that he was proven wrong on that front. He was a defender of, uh, the, as an idea, liberation and intervention from the West to go liberate countries like Iraq. Didn't work, Christopher. Didn't work. I still, you know, obviously, I admired the guy. He was, he was good. He was smart. But wrong on that. Absolutely wrong. Uh, Lady Yorkshire has redeemed herself. She says, I'm a classical liberal. Freedom. William Gladstone will be proud of you, Lady Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah, not these embarrassing modern liberals who've destroyed liberalism. But they're not really liberal, they're just leftists, obviously. Um, what is going on? Oh, wow, there's absolute chaos again in the live chat. So, um, just trying to see if, uh, if you join us late, just a quick review of what you might have missed because uh, we were talking about all these videos we received over the last uh, few hours uh, and a collection of other videos, obviously. But uh, uh, the migrants and the Islamic people from uh, France and the UK to Canada and the US are going around attacking our flags. Let's go to the first one. <laughs> The fact that they are doing this in France, of all places up I mean, it actually started in France a while ago, before it was happening in the UK, by the way. And you wonder why the French government are very much uh, in favour of pushing the migrants out towards the English Channel. I would, I would do the same thing for with them, by the way. It's not a good policy, but just move away. Oh, I can also officially confirm, you can see here, right? L yesterday we had 410,000 subscribers. We have 411 right now on the screen. But I can confirm we now have 412,000 subscribers there. Uh, thank you, everybody. The channel is growing and now at the rate of just over 1,000 subscribers a day. So within the next uh, three months or so, we should be getting to 500,000 subscribers. Thanks uh, to you beautiful freedom fighters 
around the world. Roland is back, but his support for the Palestinian flag or the Jordanian flag a little bit amended. As I missed a couple of super chats. Apologies. Rose says, please chat to Reverend Simon sideways. Uh, sure. I shall try. And uh, Lawrence uh, says, I believe that the Palestinians need better treatment and there should be a ceasefire. I also believe our own British values are being undermined by people who have come here but hate us. So the only way you could have the first one is uh, the former is yeah, they need to obviously rise up and get rid of Hamas. They need to stop supporting it. That's the first one, because when you're ruled by thugs and criminals, you, you can't really be represented as a country, as, as any territory, really. And then they can have some sort of conversation about ceasefire. We had ceasefire on the 6th of October. They broke it on the 7th of October. And the civilians in Gaza were celebrating. Did We have the videos in the centre of Gaza, Gaza City. They, they were coming out celebrating. They were not all soldiers of Hamas, by the way. Uh, so when they can do that, then we could have a conversation, obviously, in terms of the peace in the Middle East in general. Um... Thank you very much from the Czech Republic support. Wow. We got the viewers from across the world, obviously, as you guys know. Uh, and uh, Lawrence is uh, back again saying we should be proud of our culture and apply the law evenly. We are not racist. We embrace other cultures and we should be proud. Exactly. The thing is, they said at first they said multiculturalism should be about us embracing other cultures, right? Appreciating other cultures, be open minded. And then they said, well, yes, the liberals said, yeah, well, you know, we want migrants to integrate. Then they said you can't actually even fully appreciate other cultures because it's cultural appropriation. That's, then it became weird. So you're not allowed to appreciate other cultures. They're not even urged to integrate. And they are now promoting segregation. That's the problem. And there's a, okay, everyone's now typing number one, so I can't see the rest of the comments, unfortunately, because everyone's putting number one, so I have to scroll up and down now. I don't know what's going on again. Um, let's just slowly go up. Christine says, hi, Ma, you're doing a great work. Thank you from New Zealand. Well, thank you, New Zealand. Um, there were a couple of important comments. I just vaguely saw something. Oh, it's just a reminder, people, just check your subscription because sometimes you get automatically unsubscribed. That's another issue that I've now been in touch with YouTube to fix, by the way. It's another bug. Um, we have fixed one bug. The flag emojis are back. England emojis, Scottish and all of them. Whoop, whoop. We won that battle. I was so annoying to YouTube. Every day I was contacting them. Uh, but they did a great job. Eventually they fixed the bug. Now they're trying to sort out the problem with the unsubscription. Because they have this AI that removes spam accounts. But then sometimes it affects normal accounts. Depending on your username, it, seem, it, it thinks you're a fake account or whatever. Um, we will also fight for you to get that fixed. Um, so much in the live chat. I, I can't even tell where to start. Oh, God, look at this. Look at this person. Kush de skates. Could, what? Okay. Don't forget, though, mate, you're a failed YouTuber, according to that numpty the other day. Exactly. <laughs> Getting to 500,000 subscribers soon, but we are failed YouTubers. Oh, well. The guy didn't even know. He was like, he knew my name, but he said, you never call out Sadiq Khan. I was like, are you drunk? That's all I do. <laughs> anyway. Musical Man says, uh, multiculturalism is a disaster. If the cultures you import are backwards and violent, mass immigration must end, reparations must begin. Rep 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 reparations. <laughs> Repatriations must begin. Not only is it about the um, cultures being backwards, it's also the cultures that, well, are not compatible or refuse to integrate, or their agenda is for you to turn into them. Or, at best, for you to leave them alone, they won't have to be British or French or Canadian. They will just have their own mini countries inside your countries. And apparently that's normal. And I wonder, I wonder why all those areas, all those regions, whether it's North uh, Africa, whether it's the Middle East, all those places, why is it that those areas have always been a failed project? After the uh, empires fell, during uh, the, the, the actual medieval times, before 
even the colonizers, the European colonizers went there for centuries and centuries and centuries. And even now, they are still failed regions because they are tribal. Because even inside their own countries, they are tribal. They cannot unite. They do not understand the meaning of harmony or some sort of concession, some sort of consensus, some sort of actual family of a nation. You still got many tribes in each um, Central African country. All of them. It's a complete chaotic situation. You bring that sort of mentality to the West, then you're also going to get different tribes inside each Western country. Arda is uh, just posting a lot of uh, Palestinian flag emojis uh, with a bit of a Hail Mary at the end. <laughs> Um, Peter, thank you, but stop spamming. Okay, who is this Peter guy? Who is spamming? Is it this one? Oh, I just lost it. Is it this one? Let me just see. If you normalize racing, you read what you saw. That's one comment. Do we have more? Yes, two a second time. If you post the same thing after three or four times, I will ban you. Okay, this is a warning to Peter. If you do it one more time, <laughs> because people want to actually see the live chat and see what they're talking about. If you post the same thing, it's still going on. I'll give, I'll give him 20 seconds because it's a bit of a delay, obviously, after I say something. Okay, let me know if uh, spammy stuff continues. Um, the, a couple of comments about Africa. Uh, we are also going to be talking about uh, the situation in Nigeria later on today uh, because uh, the, the Islamic side once again decided to target the Christians in Nigeria. It's not the first time, obviously. But uh, the genocide program continues. Unfortunately, many people today have been casualties. Um, BH says that YouTube unsubscribers in from 2CTV daily. Anyone else? Yeah, there's a few accounts that almost get unsubscribed, almost on a subscribe daily basis or weekly basis, unfortunately. Well, I'm on top of that, obviously. I'm still lobbying for you guys with YouTube to fix that bug. This one is going to take a while compared to the, even the flag emojis. That took a while. Uh, but obviously, I'll we'll let you guys know. Uh, has that Peter guy stopped now? Good. <laughs> yeah, Peter says point made. <laughs> Good. There's no need to do multiple copy and pasting. <laughs> People can see anyway. Uh, all right, Peter can stay for now. <laughs> anyway. Um, Nana says deport, deport, deport. I don't know if you're referring to Peter or <laughs> someone else. Um there was an interesting comment. Where does it go? Um, Sunshine says, if we start burning their Quran, what will happen since they burn our flags in our country? Well, we've seen what's happened. You don't have to even like target the book itself. You make a, you draw a cartoon, there will be riots across the world. Oh, it's happened. Every single time. Go, to, uh, go and talk to the Danish. Go talk to them. See what happened. Not just cartoons. Make a joke. Yeah, I dare you. Make a joke. See what happens to you. Very tolerant religion. Very tolerant ideology. Yeah, apparently it's about peace. Even though the meaning of the actual word is submission. You must submit. No choice. Apparently it's definitely not a cult. <laughs> Craig has posted the emoji flag. It's, okay, Craig says the flag is still not right. That is, I can confirm, that is... The St. George's flag, unless you're trying to post the Welsh flag and accidentally the English flag is coming up. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to come back later because uh, we are going to be talking about Rwanda. The, the policy has failed again. Surprise, surprise. Uh, in the House of Lords. And we are going to be discussing, as I said, what's, going, what's happening in Nigeria with the Christians, unfortunately, being targeted again. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or if you've been unsubscribed. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.